Stretching along the expansive Texas Gulf Coast, where sprawling cities and vital industries of the USA meet the shimmering waters, a massive defense system is beginning to take shape. Known as the Ike Dyke, this bold $31 billion project stands as a potential shield against nature's most destructive forces. Aimed at protecting the coast from devastating hurricane storm surges and rising sea levels, the Ike Dyke will span across Galveston Island and the Bolivar Peninsula. Its design features towering storm surge gates and fortified dunes capable of withstanding surges as high as 6.7 meters. With construction set to unfold over nearly two decades, this monumental project marks the largest civil engineering endeavor ever proposed in the U.S. While it promises to safeguard vital infrastructure, homes, and businesses in one of the nation's most vulnerable areas, a pressing question lingers. Will it truly be enough to hold back the next catastrophic storm? These footages are from the day on September 7, 2008, when Hurricane Ike unleashed its fury along the Texas coastline. As the storm approached, the skies darkened and the Gulf of Mexico became a raging expanse of churning waves. The massive hurricane, spanning over 900 kilometers, had already left destruction in its wake across the Caribbean before making landfall in Galveston. Homes were submerged power lines toppled, and entire communities were devastated by the storm surge. On that day, Texas witnessed one of the most destructive hurricanes in its history, inflicting nearly $30 billion in damage, with the destruction stretching far beyond the immediate coastline. For the residents of Galveston Island, Bolivar Peninsula, and surrounding areas, Hurricane Ike was a harsh reminder of a long-standing threat the overwhelming power of hurricanes. These storms, particularly their devastating storm surges, have the potential to erase entire towns from the map, leaving behind only destruction. This was not the first time the Texas Gulf Coast had faced the force of a hurricane. For centuries, hurricanes have relentlessly battered the region. Galveston, once the largest city in Texas, endured its first major disaster in 1900 when a hurricane devastated the town, claiming thousands of lives. Yet, history repeated itself in 1999 when Hurricane Brett struck Padre Island as a Category 4 storm, causing extensive evacuations and damage despite hitting a sparsely populated area. Then, in 2005, Hurricane Rita exacerbated the situation, leading to chaotic evacuations and the tragic death of 24 nursing home residents in a bus fire, highlighting the area's vulnerability to such powerful storms. The destruction extended far beyond just property loss. It threatened the very heart of the region's economic powerhouse, the petrochemical facilities that drive both the state and national economy. The scars left by Ike were impossible to ignore, with experts warning that future storms would likely be even more destructive, the state was left with an undeniable reality. Something had to change. The question was not if another major hurricane would hit the Texas coast, but when. And when that time came, how could they defend against the ferocious storm surges that would inevitably follow? Enter the monumental efforts that would be known as the Ike Dyke designed to serve as a shield against these powerful storm surges. Unlike past attempts, this project envisions a series of colossal floodgates and barriers stretching across Galveston Island and beyond, aimed at offering protection to a region that holds not only historical significance, but also economic importance for the entire nation. As we stand on the precipice of change, one cannot help but wonder, how will a seawall designed to protect an entire state be constructed? At the heart of the construction lies the storm surge barrier, a colossal system of gates and barriers that will stretch across Galveston Island and the Bolivar Peninsula. 
The centerpiece of the construction is a vast gate system that will span nearly three kilometers across Galveston Bay, where the land meets the sea. The project includes two navigation gates, each standing at an impressive 200 meters long, built on three artificial islands. These gates will be the largest of their kind, capable of sealing off the bay from a storm surge. On either side of these massive structures, vertical lift gates will be installed between the new islands and the shorelines to further reinforce the defense system. These gates are not always in use, but are designed to remain open under normal conditions to allow the flow of water and passage of ships through the channel. The vertical lift gates are not only massive in size, but are also a technical challenge. Standing over 6.7 meters above the waterline when closed, these gates will serve as the first line of defense during a storm. Their design is inspired by similar flood protection systems used around the world. But what makes the Ike Dyke unique is the sheer scale of the operation. In total, this gate system alone is expected to take up to 18 years to complete, a testament to the complexity and size of the project. In addition to the gate system, the Ike Dyke will also incorporate a series of dunes and man-made beaches to further protect the coastline. Spanning miles across both Galveston Island and the Bolivar Peninsula, these dunes are designed to absorb the initial impact of storm surges, acting as a natural buffer. Standing between 3.7 to 4.3 meters above sea level, these dunes will need to be constructed using millions of cubic yards of sand, which will be sourced from various locations along the coast. The sand will help reinforce the natural landscape, ensuring that the dunes can withstand repeated storms. Over time, as the dunes erode with each storm, the plan is to replenish them every six to seven years, maintaining their strength and protective capability. Moving further inland, the project includes a ring barrier system designed to encircle the city of Galveston. This barrier will consist of flood walls and gates placed strategically around the city, creating a comprehensive shield against storm surges. These flood walls will be reinforced with concrete, ensuring their durability against the high pressure forces of floodwaters. When not in use, the gates will remain open to allow the passage of vehicles, trains, and pedestrians, but they will close during a storm to seal off vulnerable areas from the rising waters. The flood walls are also designed to integrate with the existing landscape of Galveston, blending into the urban environment like fences while still providing critical flood protection. Another critical aspect of the Ike Dyke is its drainage system. During a storm, when the gates are closed and the barrier is fully operational, there will be a need to pump water out of the protected areas to prevent internal flooding. To address this, a series of pump stations will be built as part of the ring barrier. These stations will be responsible for moving water from inside the barrier back into the bay, ensuring that streets and properties inside the protection zone remain dry even as the storm rages outside. These pumps are designed to handle both regular rainfall and the increased floodwaters that often occupy hurricanes, making them an essential part of the system's functionality. While the Ike Dyke promises to offer unparalleled protection, the construction process is fraught with challenges. One major issue is the complexity of building this massive system across the diverse Texas Gulf Coast. Engineers must design gates, dunes, and barriers to work harmoniously, balancing strong flood protection with the preservation of delicate ecosystems. Environmental concerns also pose significant obstacles. The construction could impact marine life in Galveston Bay, as gates might restrict water flow, harming fish, shrimp, and crabs dependent on tidal movements. Additionally, alterations to the shoreline from dunes and breakwaters could disrupt breeding grounds and affect water quality, potentially leading to stagnant conditions in the bay and harming the ecosystem's health. To mitigate these risks, environmental studies will need to be conducted and adjustments made to ensure that the Ike Dyke offers protection without causing irreversible harm to the surrounding environment. In addition to environmental concerns, the Ike Dyke faces significant financial challenges. With an estimated cost exceeding $30 billion, securing the necessary funding has proven difficult. 
The project, expected to be financed jointly by federal and state governments, will be executed in phases, with certain components completed before others. Despite these challenges, the Ike Deck represents an unprecedented effort to protect the Texas Gulf Coast from future hurricanes. Once completed, it will not only safeguard the region's people and industries, but will also stand as a symbol of resilience and forward-thinking coastal management for generations to come. The road to completion is long and fraught with obstacles, but the potential rewards, a coast protected from devastation, make it a mission worth pursuing. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, drop a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated.